Hey everybody, it's Lon Simon, and I have received a ton of email and YouTube comments about whether or not the HD Home Run Prime, which we demonstrated in a few other videos, uh, will work with Plex, which is that awesome media serving software. And the answer is absolutely yes, and it works amazing. It's just as amazing as Plex itself. So uh, basically, in short, uh, you can take video live from your cable system through your HD Home Run Prime and get it onto your iPad or iPhone or Android device anywhere in the world, streamed live, just like a Slingbox. And there's also some other added benefits too. So we're going to do a two-parter. We're going to show you how it works. And then in the second video, I'll show you uh, how it is all configured because it is a little involved to get it working. So let's take a quick look first, though, at what I'm using. So we're using Plex, obviously, but uh, there's a plugin that I found on the Plex forums called HD Surfer. And you just uh, right now it's in alpha, so it's very, very beta. In fact, it's so beta, it's alpha. So uh, just be prepared to uh, have some kinks to work out. And I'll talk more about the configuration of it in the, in the next video. But uh, download this, you configure it, uh, you get it up and running. And then when you pop over to your Plex uh, s system here, you will see at the bottom in your channel screen here, if my screen will scroll properly, here we go, uh, you'll have a plugin for HD Surfer. And uh, you can then uh, configure a bunch of channels on it and watch them live on your device. Now, what I'm going to do real quick is pop up my iPad, and uh, what we're going to do on the iPad is uh, stream a cable channel um, from my HD Home Run to the iPad and see how it works. So we're going to pull it up here. As you can see, it looks very similar to how it looked on the computer just a second ago. We're going to hit uh, HD Surfer, and we have a couple of channels here. So I'm just going to pick one of my affiliates, and we'll hit the button there. It takes a second for it to get up and running, but once it goes... Uh, you've got live television, and it basically turns your uh, device into essentially a, uh, a little portable TV that you can take anywhere in the house, and it works great. The best part is, is that it also works over the internet. So I was away from my house, and I had my iPhone with me, and I popped open the iPhone, hit the, uh, the channel I wanted to watch, and I was streaming from my house over the LTE network, and it was working seamlessly, which was amazing. Now, the only thing you have to do uh, when you're done watching TV is you just have to go to stop live television. Otherwise, it's going to lock uh, the HD Home Run uh, tuner to that uh, piece of software that we're going to demonstrate in our next video. So it, it has that one little caveat. You got to make sure you turn it off because otherwise it's going to reserve some resources. What's happening is, is the, uh, there's a little server app that's going to run on your computer that will do uh, basically the transcoding of the MPEG-2 to MPEG-4, and then it'll pass that MPEG-4 video over to Plex, which then shoots it over to your device. So if you don't stop the video, uh, it'll lock up one of those HD home run uh, uh, tuners and uh, basically uh, create problems for you if, if you have people in the house that also want to watch things too. So we'll get into all those little details in the next video, but the bottom line is it works. There's also an added side benefit, especially if you're running Windows Media Center as I am, in that you you can basically point the Plex server at your media center folder and it will let you uh, do the same thing with recorded video. So let's take a look at that real quick on my iPad. So um, we use the DVR function in, in Media Center quite a bit. And what I did is I set up a, uh, a library basically to um, my video file. So it's kind of like the generic video library. You don't want to do live television because it doesn't know what to do with it. Um, and here's all the stuff we've been recording on our DVR. And I can go ahead and just uh, pop open maybe last night's Walking Dead. And it keeps a bookmark also. So if I didn't, um, you know, if I, if I stopped it and wanted to resume from where I left off, I could do that. And as you can see, it comes right up. It's uh, transcoding in real time from MPEG-2 to MPEG-4. That's playable on the iPad. And as you can see, it just starts playing. So I've got my recordings. And the best part is, is that uh, it works anywhere in the world. So if I'm not home, I'm in the hotel room or something, and I want to watch something that I recorded, I can just hit the button and provided the bandwidth is there, I can stream it. Uh, Plex also offers a kind of like a pro level subscription service. Um, it's $30 a year, $75 lifetime, and that will let you sync things over the internet to your device. So if you have a flight coming up, uh, you can basically say, hey, I want to download these three recordings to my device. It'll transcode them in the background and just copy them right onto your mobile device so you can take it with you anywhere you go. So really, really cool stuff. That plugin works wonderfully, and uh, basically it now kind of closes the circle into making all of this stuff work wonderfully in my house. So we've got Windows Media Center for our televisions, which has been working great, and now we've got Plex for our mobile devices that we can use away from home, uh, but also just roaming around the house as well. So that is pretty cool. So stay tuned. Uh, the next video, I'm going to go into detail about how all of this gets configured. So be sure to watch that. And this is Lon Sybin. Thanks for watching.